Today's evening devotional. The Spirit enlightens us. Then Jesus said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. Walk while ye have the light, lest darkness come upon you, for he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whither he goeth. John chapter 12 verse 35. Jesus says, Walk while ye have the light, lest darkness come upon you. Gather up every ray, pass not one by. Walk in the light. Practice every precept of truth presented to you. Live by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God, and you will then follow Jesus wherever he goeth. When the Lord presents evidence upon evidence and gives light upon light, why is it that souls hesitate to walk in the light? Why do men neglect to walk in light to a greater light? The Lord does not refuse to give his Holy Spirit to them that ask him. When conviction comes home to the conscience, why not listen, and heed the voice of the Spirit of God? By every hesitation and delay, we place ourselves where it is more and more difficult for us to accept the light of heaven, and at last it seems impossible to be impressed by admonitions and warnings. The sinner says, more and more easily, go thy way for this time, when I have a more convenient season, I will call for thee, Acts chapter 24 verse 25. I know the danger of those who refuse to walk in the light as God gives it. They bring upon themselves the terrible crisis of being left to follow their own ways, to do after their own judgment. The conscience becomes less and less impressible. The voice of God seems to become more and more distant, and the wrongdoer is left to his own infatuation. In stubbornness he resists every appeal, despises all counsel and advice, and turns from every provision made for his salvation, and the voice of the messenger of God makes no impression upon his mind. The Spirit of God no longer exerts a restraining power over him, and the sentence is passed, he is joined to idols, let him alone, Hosea chapter 4 verse 17. Oh, how dark, how sullen, how obstinate, is his independence. It seems that the insensibility of death is upon his heart. This is the process through which the soul passes that rejects the working of the Holy Spirit. 